extra damage, you know, you can throw the ults into the Chrono as well, because they are sort of lacking damage in Chrono. They have a lot of disables, the Earth Spirit stuff, Rip, the Chrono, but... Scout out Puppy, and they will manage to get the dust on him. Nightmare him up, surround the poor Puppy Man, and beat him down before the dust expires. That'll be a free first blood for Roger. Yeah, uh, definitely a nice start for the Earth. I have the Bounty Hunter sap top lane, but this invoker will be sort of left off dry, so... He's still not having a great landing stage, but I guess that's the, uh, the price they're paying. The roll comes in, kick into the tier 1 tower. Tame My Wild's gonna take a lot of damage, Fairy Fire pops, but Tame My Wild easily stays alive. Do you think uh, the Earth Spirit's time would be better spent pressuring Forev, or do you just kind of like leave Shotula out there and say, survive as long as he clearly, he won't be able to make an early rotation up the top or anything like that. Uh, and if he, you know, forbid, he gets shut down a little bit. Oop, Feather gets Pylite Dice in distance, but a nice double kick will be able to nail and finish off Pylite Die. MP even takes a couple of shots as he retreats as well. They're starting to get zoned out pretty hard, so only the brown boots right now. 14 CS on both him and mid one. So, Zach's gonna have to get really farmed as oh. he does get the solo kill, so. Yeah, comes there's the Vanguard and making it work. But it hasn't managed to pick up a kill just yet. And it's going to try and rotate bottom. Shotchel has got the Chronosphere ready to go. Tame my wild. He has an ult of his own. But can they actually take down the tanky axe? They need a little bit of extra help. Banscore is going to be here with a pure damage. They've got the ultimate ready to go. Forev stuck inside the trees. But gets a little bit of a spin up against the flip side heroes. That's just trying to kite this hero as best as possible. Holding on to the disables to make sure there is no chance at a TP out. Shotchel brought low, but not low enough for a chop. And the axe will eventually go down. I even have to use old actually, so still has that for any possible turnaround stop. Yeah, and so all they use is the chronosphere, and that's kind of. Ex I mean, you want to use the chronosphere as early as possible. This does leave Seedoy a little bit high and dry. The Bane isn't here to be able to save him, so Secret immediately try and get aggressive on him. Roger fails to get the turnaround kill onto Puppy, and it looks like he'll still die as well. Unable to have a roll for a few more seconds, and MP's just too fast with the tether to play ring around the road. Barely gets back to the fountain. A rotation failed this time around from Flipside. Yeah, it's a pretty massive misplay from Roger right there. Not saving the kick, or at least using the stun uh, instead of just the normal kick. So, um, costing them that kill, and that's all their ults used. Well, except, for the, oh. except for the Chronon, so. MP, that wasn't the right click you wanted to go for. Chronosphere just came back up, though they will make short work of MP this time around. A little bit of aggression at top lane gets highlight die caught. A little bit more breathing room, not quite so much as absolutely need to death ball. They have a little bit better of a scaling mid to pop. Um, here they oh. is. They almost caught him. The Shuriken's not going to go out in time. Looks like Pylite Dai will still manage to finish off the kill, though. They get Seedoy, but they're going to lose their two supports forward after a couple of rotations from Flipside. Yeah, they're really focusing on... Uh... Out. Obviously, the, the beginning of the lane was quite tough, but now he's got better sustain thanks to a um, little bit of feast and some damage as well as the infest, I guess, to be able to get back. Bounty Hunter finds a kill on Roger. Was that even... Yeah, that was a Sunstrike use, so... That was a combination right, I, I, I think kill, he, but... I think he missed the Sunstrike. He was fighting with the Forge Spirit, and the Sunstrike oh, really? whipped a little bit. The Forge Spirit got a mole off for a couple of the first time. I'm surprised Puppy was able to do to the kill alone. He will be caught, though, by Tame My Wounds, who does manage to get the successful dust. Upside, they only have the Chrono with him jumping in in the Blink Axe call, so I think it's definitely a little scary right now. The TP comes in, and Forev instantly goes for the call, stalled up by the Chronosphere as well as a Fiend's Grip, but the damage they're outputting may not be enough. Forev finally brought low by the pure damage combination of the Bane and the Queen of Pain. Puppy's gonna wrap around, though. He's going for Seedoy. They have the best pop out. That's gonna be your first of bounty kills. One for one trade off on course. Tame My Wild goes down to the right clicks of mid one and gets enough. He's taking a lot of right click damage from the Void as well as his damage over time from the Earth Spirit and will eventually fall because of that. Roger continues and gets a nice kick out. A lot of damage on the Puppy as well. They see him too. The vision's out. The dust popped on him and they managed to get a third kill. Vanscore picks up the make a kill streak. MP's just hoping to be able to even out the score though. Get the support kill of Roger who unfortunately has absolutely no mana and only one stone to his name. So he goes ahead, calls it quits. A three for three almost. Tame my wild, blinks himself away. 
Nice reactions from him once again. He's been doing okay all series long. It looks like they're going to be able to find Puppy. The relocate is coming in, though. They're going to try and fight this one out. Team My Wild has the blink up. Oh, and a Fiend's Grip. That's going to be stomped out by Perez, but he's immediately pushed back with a silence. A double stun goes down, buying fans for space to stay ahead of Perez. No pulling play today. Perez is just going to be kited around by Seedoy, who is now having to deal with the full snap. All their kiting abilities, it's definitely how they need to play these fights, because if they get Heroes bursted during the axe call. There's not really much they can do to take them a fight from there. Kick away. MP pops the range. Turns. It's still going for Roger, but he's already down low. And the corner tears up. Oh no! Came my wild. Actually jumps into that one. He's got the ultimate though. And it looks like. Puppy, as well as the life shield, they're both very dead. So Team My Wild goes for a little bit more. He is going to be called up by the axe, though. Maybe he blinked too far. The team trying to help him out. Nice sleep, dodging a little bit of damage. And now they continue to kite Perev. A big dude comes out, misses Pylai's eye, but it doesn't matter. They get that kill anyway. Perev is bought down, half HP. Hoping to be able to get the shot slow, four staff to wait. Money will get the pulling blade. And now it's just left up to mid one. Fighting up against Team My Wild, who mans up, goes for this kill. Will just barely be able to get it, but dies for four spirits in return turn mid one picks up the triple but again and just farming the jungle um i think reload Ooh, no oh no poor roger <laughs> he doesn't make it out he's just praying that the roshan will take the kill the sleep goes down dodging sun strike but life still will still take the kill in the end so yeah, I'm trying to sneak that one in. Team My Wild is tracked up, but hasn't made its way into the Roshan pitch yet, just yet. In fact, he's going to jump forward, but he's right for the trap of the Rev and MP. Get a Queen of Pain kill, and it now looks like Flipside's attempt really falls off because she's so squishy that if you're not ahead, then you get caught one time by one disable, you just evaporate, and it'll be like that for the rest of the game, most probably. They've been spotted. Roger, he's going to have to make a roll out of here. Turns around, goes for the kick. It looks like Vanscorn may be caught. Perev managed to get a call onto him. Roger does go down. Perev, though, is going to be caught playing the price, though, for trying to catch that extra kill. Silenced up. Uh-oh, looks like poor MP. He may be going down and have to armor talk a little bit. Does manage to get the rage off. Sleep goes down. Buying Tame by Wild a second or two. Sunstrike will land on him, taking a good amount of damage, but he still managed to blink away from the engagement. Secret bouncing around. It's going to be up to mid one to try and change this one. One, as you can see, a third hero is going to go down the corner of the sphere, catching Puppy, but they're going to get the Roshan in the end, so really nice exchange for flip side. Yeah, you have to wonder if, um, first of all, if Vanscore didn't have a fear. Um, where Storm has like ball lightning that allows him to scale really well into the late game um, and still do damage because of overcharge. Oh, Perev uh, tries to make this initiation by himself. The sleep goes down on Tame on Wild, and now the Fiend script on to Perev. Solo YOLO play from Perev does not pay out any dividends as it just gives away a free kill to Vance Core, who's now on a monster kill streak. Gee, Jesus. If somebody's out of the meta. He's doing quite well for himself. Gust isn't actually going to catch the relocating heroes, though mid one actually jumps forward to catch Roger, seeing if he can get the extra kill because they know they have the Drone Ranger dead. That is just the Aegis, though, and Secret know that the rest of Flipside are on their way going to be Shotchlo trying to lead the way with his Blink Dagger and a Time Walk to catch the Chronos here and he does oh, okay, get an MP. Well, He's going to be the target. Puppy walks into it as well. They manage to get the Orchid onto MP, ensuring his death. Puppy still trying to make his way out though, but with a gem in hand, so now the disable to keep Puppy in place. They easily claim a third kill. A pick off on Axe. The drought still full HP. It's going to be harder to go. Oh, Chrono Sphere actually goes out. Looks like they caught Puppy. They did not manage to get Perev, though. He still managed to blink forward, but it doesn't matter. As now MP pops out, but it's straight to the Fiend's grip. Vanscore, once again, in masterful position of this game, will manage to counter Team Secret's aggression. Two of the cores down, one of them has buyback. MP goes up, though, and this may be Flipside taking a late range of racks. We're going to see Flipside actually trying to retreat now after the buyback of Perev. He managed to get the call on Roger. Doesn't get the calling blade this time around. They get one support, but they need a whole lot more. Cedoy, he saw it at the side. He managed to get the Ghoul Scepter, and that's going to be a Drill Ranger. A big pickoff. If it was just Roger for the buyback on Ferev, that would have been well worth it. For He's still going to try and fight this one. He's got some backup coming in. He baits a little bit. Now the relocate in. Ferev goes for the call, misses out. Now he's working it up. Unable to stop Roger from retreating. Team My Wild takes a good amount of magic damage. Looks like Roger's still going to be the pick, though. Secret. Somehow, mid one, a little bit, a little bit slow. Mm, it was also more on the defensive Roger. side, not so yeah, deep in. Oh, the call comes out. They're gonna go straight for Cedoy, but a Chronosphere is here, locking down two 
two cores, but can they actually keep Zedoy alive? They managed to get the Orchid out, preventing the cooling blade, but MP still gets the damage. Nice tornado coming on through. It's going to be able to land a huge meteor onto the Bane, as well as the Queen of Pain. Queen of Pain blinks out, but Roger is left in the tail end of that damage. will still go down. A relocate forward, but Shoshlo, thanks to his mobility of Blink and Time Walk, will get away until Midwan says hello. He's got the old scepter. Cold snap preventing the Time Walk away for a second. He still gets the distance, but Secret just keep on trucking on through. They tank the Tier 3 tower. He damn, they go for a jump away, but it's still the Shuriken follows through. Midwan claims that kill and jumps for even more. Team my wild right in front of his fountain, though. He'll fight Midwan. That Orchid still, though. Secret come out big. They're going to be able to get the Tier 3 tower. Nobody's going to be back up for another 10 seconds. And still another 20 left on the Thrower Ranger. And even then, they'd have to buy back on the Faceless Void. 15 seconds to have their full five-man crew up to contest this push. It's looking like Secret will get the lane of wrath. Yeah, when the Draw Ranger falls, they really just don't have that much damage. The Quap only having her spells, and they all have high enough HP counts so where they can't get person down by just the spells anymore, so... The real damage is either thrown off. Melee racks and Secret sticking around too long. They've got the ranged as well. And at bottom, but flip side, they do seem kind of aware of the potential jump here. Zedoy pops his Manta. That's just going to be more targets for Fered. He does not have the Life Stealer inside of him, it looks like. Zedoy pops a BKB and now turns with the Team Script and kills Fered farther down. Pops out, but straight into the corner. Here he goes. MP, a bad time to leave. As now he's going to be caught by yet another ult. And now the Yule Scepter on Highlight Die stops the relocate as he attempted to save MP. Flipside will get a third kill. Secret, we're so close to being able to close out this game potentially, but now they've given fresh life to Flipside. Yeah, Rev just going a little too. Flipside, get with the story. You know Mid One. After a fight is over like that, nobody is safe. If Mid One's still alive, you guys break apart. He's always going to go for one of those extra picks. Mid One's going to go and straight into the Tame Wild Wild and immediately pops out the Force Spears, unable to get a full snap down in time. He gets working at first, but now the call comes down. Colin Blade sure to come in for the Silence first, and they really get the Queen of Pain, but not the extra movement speed to be able to save the Invoker. Forever is eventually beaten to a pulp as Sidoy comes in with the Manta, but it costs them two kills already. Uh, whenever you do that, because then you have the Roshan, so it's not like you're in danger of dying and them having this weak condition anymore. And uh, you don't want Flipside to take it because that is one of their only routes back into this game is getting the Roshan, so you can't jump the Drow anymore, and Tinkered sort of have a, um, don't have a way to initiate these fights, but with the Aegis, they can still jump the Drow and wow. barely live. I, I just saw his, his health bar disappear during this leap, so I thought, oh, he must be dead. What a save there from the Bane Van score. Very clutch. Leap onto Ferev, trying to slow down this push of the melee rack is almost gone here. The glyph is eventually gonna wear out. The regen's not fast enough. The melee rack goes down to one swipe from MP. She this game making a lot of cool plays, getting some pickoffs, and just being a thorn in Flipside's side. Oh, the relocate in. They've got a Chronosphere in just one more second, but Shotslo, he jumps in for the time block, won't be able to get the Chronosphere out. Now tries desperately, but the cold snap is too much. MP, he takes out the void, and now no Chronosphere to be able to hold down that invoker means MP is just able to go straight for Roger. And flip side, they've blown some and wait for the push on bottom. Yeah, but one also sort of weakening these tier fours a little bit, so just standing around in their base, almost taunting them, starting their dominance. And up, Shachel oh. immediately kills that ward, but for Rev, oh, that was a whip there. He tried to go for the blink call. The Torno does manage to land, but he still managed to relocate out. Bounty Hunter's down. He drops his gem. MP with the double damage tries to go for Zedo, but the damage is too much. This fight inside the jungle turns well into the hands of Flipside as they catch two and gonna be able to get a third now as Pylai die unable to do anything about his relocate. So Flipside destroy mission here from Roger, trying to find anybody here on the side trees, but now Flipside, they're gonna be the ones who could be initiated on. is gonna try and take out that ward, but it's gonna be Zedoy. He's initiated on Bond for Rev. Vanscore does manage to save no the Kane's grip. That's the mistake they were looking for with the corner sphere on the two. They can go for so much more. Pylai Dai tethers into the Chronosphere. Tornado just trying to disrupt this damage as best as possible. But MP still in trouble. Pops the Rage, turns and fights up against the Queen of Bane, but he had to blink up. Mid one, he's the one manning up. He goes straight for Cedo with the Dazan still up. Yule Scepter, and all of a sudden he realizes he's no longer a man fight. He can take flips like control the Invoker and bring him down mid game. They're going to go first for Roshan and Secret.
Oh, they're gonna fight this one. Puff is leading the way, but for him, he's got the double call. He's gonna be able to grab Tidoy. A sleep goes down, saving Tidoy's life, but he's already so low. He pushes them back, tries to get the distance. The heel goes down. Eventually, though, he will drop mass buybacks. Good, Coming out nice. flip side, bop three. There's a chance they may get caught in the pit, so instead, they're gonna go for a smoke and push through into the secret shop. Tidoy's sitting there. He's gonna pop the smoke, but they already managed to get the call. Attempted man's gone. Ninja going to make it. And Tidoy, he's gone. And already, Kronos, ooh, Kronos is actually coming back up. They can actually fight this one. Chronosphere into two, but Queen of Pain nowhere to be found. They get a Fiend's Grip onto MP, but they need some physical damage, and they just don't have it. Flipside, stop. Cold Snap on Advanced Score brings stop, a uh, quick stopper there. To the Fiend's Grip, Advanced Score is trying to make his way back to the Tier 3 Tower after his sleep, but mid one catches him, blinks forward with the Ice Wall, 80 seconds down on two fours. And it looks like Team My Wild may be falling as well. Dual Scepter has a blink up in a second. For F, unable to get the call, but the slow is still there. Mid one, the beast, a triple kill, almost gets the quad. A teammate takes it in front of him, but still, mid one, jumping forward, dominating this fight. And Team Secret going straight for the tier fours with no more buybacks left on flip side. They call it GG. Congratulations to Team Secret, who will be one of the European teams qualifying for the Dota Pit Land Final. Yeah, mid one really, really showing off his prowess. The series playing extremely well every game. The TA game is a little rough for Secret as a whole, and not a 